So as I told you guys in the last video, driving that, um, tell you guys what's going on with this thing. Um, Wednesday I stayed the night here, so selling my mom out. So um, we were on the south side of Wabash, and uh, we were pulling out of someone's driveway because my mom picked something up for my cousin. And she heard a noise. I couldn't hear it anywhere. And then we got onto the road. And then I started to hear it. And then it got worse. Then we turned on this road, Columbus Street. Got worse. My mom said she lost power steering. So I pulled over, got out, coolant all over the place. All over the bottom. And is what happened is... Pop the hood. You see the bell belt is now right here. And all wrapped around like crazy. And the water pump is somewhere over here. Well, there's, I'm assuming that's what happened. The water pump uh, broke. And that's why I threw the belt. And it was making all that noise. But it doesn't look like that. It shredded the belt into thousands of pieces. So I'm going to see. Get this belt out of here. See if I can see the water pump. Because I never even. That's all I'm assuming it was the water pump. Because the, that's, the water pumps ran by the belt. So... Let me see. Or is that? Yeah, it's just wrapped around on this side. <sighs> Try not to break it here because we might be able to reuse it. Mm. Well, looks like it's. I don't know, but they're checking all the other pulleys. Yep. I think that's the water pump right there. See how tight that is? Yeah. So that's why the belt shredded off. I think that's the water pump pulley. But yeah, that thing's all seized up and barely, barely turning Great. yep so that's the issue I don't know if that's the water pump or not I'm not good with these jeeps but there's a belt routing right there but that pulley this pulley is right here and this one Everything else still spins like it should, except for that one. I'm trying to get it out. Oh, I think I got it now. There it is. Got it out now. Yeah, see, the belt's still fine. So we think we'll be able to reuse it. But yeah, this is what caused it right here. See how that's wiggling like that? And see how tight it is? That's why it took the belt off. And that's what was making all the racket. Pretty sure that's the water pump though. My, my mom had this happen on her Jeep Liberty. She had two. Made a lot of noise and started overheating. And she was real close to the uh, driveway too. So, but I can hear the antifreeze coming out from the water pump. And I know it lost a bunch, so there's probably not going to be hardly any in there. But the overflow is still full though, which I don't understand. 
Now I can hear it gurgling. But yeah, that's what happened to the Jeep. So me and my grandpa went to where it was parked with his truck about 15, 20 minutes away. Took a chain in his truck, towed it all the way back. I was steering. A little sketchy, but it was good experience. Got it all the way back. Of course, the battery went dead as soon as we turned into that road all the way down there. It still, it looks, it's still got power, but I don't know if it'll start. I'm not gonna try it because there's no belt on it. But me and my dad were supposed to pick it up yesterday. Yeah, see, it's still leaking now. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I think when I squeeze that hose, yeah, this is definitely what it is. Yep, more is coming out of it. Oh, well. It needs a coolant flush and clean anyways. Because it's disgusting. The radiator needs taken out and cleaned real good. It needs to, it needs some chemical flushing is what it needs. Might need a new thermostat too. But, but there's the Jeep right now. I'm going to put the belt in the back. Since it's actually still reusable. It actually looks pretty good. So I'm just going to put it in the back here so I can, yeah. I see my battery charger back there. I might throw the charger on it for a little while. My battery charger. Run an extension cord from the front porch. And it should take a good charge. I don't have my own extension cord here either. And I don't have any in here. Should have brought one of my new ones. Yeah, I drove this yesterday. There's the fire from the smoke. Or the smoke from the fire. But It's got an oil and coolant leak. Well, a coolant leak it's had, but the oil leak is new. So, But it, it did fine, though. It didn't overheat or anything or blow oil everywhere. This car's running great still. It's dirty though. But, yeah. I think I'll take my battery charger out. Put the Jeep on it for a little bit because it was dead, like I said, when we got on that road. And it looks like it came back to life a bit. But it hasn't been on the charger scent at all since we brought it back. So I might just put my charger on for a bit. It's not supposed to rain today, so it's just supposed to be all cloudy. I'll put it on slow charge, of course, because it doesn't need to be on medium, because this thing's not going to get started anytime soon. I don't know when me and my grandpa are supposed to bring it to Manchester, but because my dad's busy, so today, and I'm going to be here all weekend, so I'm going to kind of hang out this weekend, and it's a, the temperature's not bad at all. I'm wearing short sleeves, and it's feels pretty good you know it's wet and not sunny at all but come on yeah so let me just get these cables on oh good good place right there Okay, and then perfect. I love that. Find a good extension cord. Maybe if that one's not in use, I'll just use that one. It's being being used for these Christmas lights, which I figured it was. It was a green one though. I'll just see if that green one's long enough. Okay, guys, finally got the charger on and hooked up. It's taking a charge. 
let that go with the hood up because it's not going to rain today. End up taking me two more extension cords. So three short green ones and one charger later, she's charging. So I'm going to let that cook for quite a while because this battery was dead when we put it in it got it in the driveway. So I'll just leave it go. And I'm using my own battery charger. But my grandpa's extension cords. But all right, I'm gonna get out of here and uh yeah, just get going on other stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next video.